Super Senior Gojo, the freshman's nightmare. Here we go. Hey there, gorgeous. Do you happen to be a freshman? Yes, sir. Fresh out of the womb. He had the look of pure delight on his face. Oh my, how exciting. You're fresh meat. Well, I didn't really mean a literal. Uh, this is scary. It gives you a sharp look. Oh, I know. Okay, he knows. He knows. I'm well aware, but still. You're a freshman nonetheless. Fresh... Freshman? No, I'm a fresh ambulance. I identify as an ambulance. My pronouns are... Um, we... <laughs> my pronouns are we, we... Oh, you identify as an ambulance. I do. He tilted his head and then started walking closer to you. We... we is it? Why is he taking it seriously? He got real close to you here. Well, then let's see if this ambulance can make me go we... <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Wait, make you go wee-woo, are you an ambulance too? He chuckles and nods his head while smirking. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you could say I'm an expert at this. In fact, just hearing that little wee-woo. <laughs> In fact, just hearing that little wee-woo you just came out with made me go wee-woo real hard. Oh my gosh, what am I reading? Do you mean like hard, hard as a rock? Because I love rocks. In fact, I'm a rock sexual. Is that even a word? I don't know. He raised an eyebrow, a smirk on his face. Are you now a rock sexual, huh? He got even closer, leaning over you. Then why won't we rock each other's world right here and now? That's actually, that's actually good. That's, that's good. But what is even better is the info about granite. Here we go. Let's just spam him with information about rocks for no reason. His jaw dropped down as he listened to your information. Whoa, I knew you were inter- What? <laughs> Whoa, I knew you were interesting, but this? This is fascinating. You were right. I'm rock sexual too. <laughs> I was not- I was not expecting it. That was- Okay. Right? Rocks are amazing. Finally, I found someone who's rock sexual too. Hell yeah. He got even closer to you. <laughs> okay, you got even closer to you. You know, it's amazing how much we have in common. You also, <laughs> you also happen to have an amazing yacht. Um, did I just hear yacht? Did I hear it right? Because I have a music for you. Let's send them the the skibidi, the skibidi music. <laughs> yes, the yacht. <laughs> he chuckled and got even closer to you. The only gat that can make the Rizzle <laughs> The Super Senior Gojo go wee -woo. <laughs> You still didn't forget about this This is amazing He started circling around you Taking the opportunity to observe that magnificent gat of yours <laughs> <laughs> But wait, he said he was the Rizzler I am the Rizzler I am the ultimate Rizzler Not you Gojo Oh you are the ultimate Rizzler huh? Of course I am It's literally on my name he stops circling around you. He gets real close to your face. He chuckles. Well, Mr. Ultimate Rizzler, he leans in just a little closer and whispers softly. I want to see your gut. Bro, I don't think he knows this, but I'm a guy. Let's see how he reacts to it. I mean, knowing this guy, I'll probably go for it either way. Oh no, um, actually, he took, he took a step back, a smirk on his face as he realized his mistake. Oh, my bad. He chuckled softly as he cleared his throat. So let's just forget I said all that. Well, let me start over there. Hi, I'm Super Senior Gojo. The ultimate Riz Bro, you're not ultimate Rizzler. What's your name? Let's let's forget about this. But I am the ultimate Rizzler. The only and honored one. AI Rizzler. For a moment, he seemed confused. After all, there can only be one ultimate Rizzler. I agree. Wait a second. You are the ultimate Rizzler, but I'm the ultimate Rizzler too. Doesn't that make us Rizzler enemies? I think it does. He snickered, had a mischievous look on his face. So then, let me ask you this. If you are Rizzler enemies, then should we have a Rizzler duel? I think we should. He chuckled. All right then, Rizzler duel it is. He held his open palm. His finger pointing towards you. <laughs> okay. Now, just hear me out. The objective of this Rizzler duel is to see who can come up with the best Riz. Makes sense. So, just hit me with your Rizziest line. Never heard that word. And let's see who comes out on top. Is that clear? 
As clear as my victory, Super Senior Gojo. You mean as clear as my victory? Alright, so then I guess it's my turn now. It is. So here he is, my Rizliest line. Yo <laughs> Your gut is so damn fine, it makes me go wee woo. <laughs> this, this Riz is no match for me. Here we go. You say you like my gut? Then why don't you come over here and take a look? You think the ladies would call that fine? Shut up, because I'm gonna make you mine. Wink wink. How'd you feel about this one, Gojo? He seemed taken aback by this. He hadn't seen this one coming. He just sat there, with eyes wide open, trying to comprehend how could you counter that Riz. I mean, <laughs> it's fair enough. After a few moments, he managed to process what just happened and go back to his usual Riz persona. Alright, alright, that was good, I admit it. But it's not gonna be enough for you to win this. Let me hit you with another one. Go ahead. He smirked, returned to his face, and he said, Okay, okay, you ready for this? So, are you a rock? Because you're hard and solid. <laughs> okay, this is bad. Um, you think you have the Riz? Mine is limitless. You call me a rock? Um, if so, you're a pebble. Don't, I don't know if this is Riz, whatever. He rolled his eyes, he hadn't expecting something like this. Psh, a pebble, huh? If you say so, then... He smirked and rolled his fingers around his lips, as he prepared his next Riz line for you. Okay then, Rock, don't test me. My Riz is the most limitless, the most powerful one. Is this even Riz? This is pathetic, Gojo. Bro, your Riz is so boring, my homework doesn't sound so bad anyway. <laughs> Here's a problem for you. John went to the supermarket and bought 50 apples. Each apple costs 30 cents. He paid the $20 bill. How much does he need in exchange? Please help me, Super Sonic Gojo. He got completely thrown off by the Riz- Bro, it's not Riz line, I, I just have homework to do. Wait, that's homework. He asked them to help him with homework. He just wants the answer to his math problem? Wait. He scratched his head, he seemed confused. This guy, he's not even raising anymore. He just wants the answer to his math homework. Just give me the answer already, aren't you a senior? It should be easy for you. Give you the answer. For a moment, he forgot he was in the middle of a Rizdo wall. All he cared about was his math problem. He felt compelled to solve it. Thank you. Alright, he thought deeply about the problem. Then, he got the answer. The answer is 15, are you dumb? That's your math skills? are just as good as your Riz. The answer is 5. 5! He almost couldn't believe it. That's the answer? He felt stupid, dumb, and he felt ashamed. He had never messed up a Riz duel by losing against math homework. <laughs> okay. He stood still, paralyzed for a moment by this discovery. Bro, it, it, it was not Riz, it was... Oh, hold up, my... My dad, um... Doji Fushigiro is calling me. Wait, hold on. He realized something. There was something else going on here. Oh, does he know about Toji? This isn't about Riz at all. He was being tricked. Your son of a... Wait, is he aware of Toji? I don't know. Um, he said he, he would like to meet my friend, especially you, uh, Super Senior Gojo. He would like to meet you. He sighed. If this was just a trick, like the math problem just gave him, he couldn't allow himself to get fooled again. But your dad is calling because he wants to see me? Yeah, I can go now. So Gojo and Toji went on a little date, and the rest you already know. Video's done, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff, kiss, bye.